Action will be related uh, with enhancing business sustainability through green innovation, supply chain practices, and GIC or green intellectual capital, and practical evidences from the manufacturing sector. So, uh, everybody can hear me once more, sorry, because I saw a message here. Yes, yes, we can hear you okay. quickly. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, I won't uh, go very deep to, into uh, literature review, but uh, we all know that the uh, goal of every organization is to achieve uh, business excellence, but many research uh, are proving some positive relationship between business sustainability or sustainability issue ma or sustainability matters, including in their business models, which are proving to show some positive uh, results. Unfortunately, uh, you know, recently, it's not that the businesses didn't do harm to environment from their, their existence, but as a society, maybe in past 20, 30 years, we started counting them, we started measuring this uh, negative impact. So, but unfortunately, this is as the, uh, as the number of uh, population is growing, the number of businesses growing, the number of production of food and other other products it's, it's growing and every all of this is increasing because no matter how much we are uh, trying to find uh, ways to decrease the level of uh, of uh, let's say harm to the environment by increasing the number of products by increasing the number of services we offer to the society actually the risk of uh, uh, harming more the environment is here that's why and our companies, organizations need to focus on uh, findings from many researchers among uh, which, uh, among others, we will try, we try to also deliver some insight on that, how we can uh, improve or what are the negative effects to our societies. What is the cause of this negative impact? Of course, there are many to numbers, but uh, we will focus on the on some. And uh, we know that uh, if the company needs to choose between a financial growth and environmental concerns, they will always choose financial growth uh, because everybody thinks that maybe by them doing something, they are not influencing too much to the society. And this is, I mean, the last uh, the COVID crisis also proved this when mostly uh, products, uh, mostly the environment was uh, left behind in their strategies and business plan. Uh, the companies are trying, as I that uh, by trying to deliver a cheaper product, they also trying to make harm to the environment, but harm also to the product itself. This is especially the case in the food industry when we see that organizations are trying to produce more in quantity by lowering the, uh, the quality of the products and producing maybe unethical products or and they uh, or, or they are harming the, uh, the surrounding environment when they all then they are operating uh, there as also I am currently working in, in North Macedonia and preparing a strategy uh, for a sustainable strategy or CSR strategy as we call it here. Uh, in uh, North Macedonia, what I see uh, by analyzing many businesses is I see that a lot of businesses, uh, you know, they lack the compliance with the regulation uh, in, in, in every state almost. I, you know, I searched for many, many businesses all around uh, this part of Europe. Uh, and also, as we noticed that there are inadequate, inadequate employee innovation skills and, and unfortunately, also we see a lack of awareness uh, among employees about their behavior inside the comp companies, inside the organization in order to deliver more uh, green innovation product. So since we are talking about green innovation, green supply chain and green electoral capital, just a few words about them. Uh, uh, of course, a researcher, as I said, they, we see many research pointing to the environmental degradation, also, as we call abnormal weather patterns, climate change damage, to the flora and fauna and many others, as two other keynote speaker mentioned, uh, you know, pointed out very interesting statistics, which uh, are, are are sometimes frightening to all of us. Uh, but what we suggest in, in context of green innovation is that organizations need to focus much more on green practice, green practice which are 
actually showing good results in many companies. As we call knowledge sharing, like we green of knowledge sharing, it means that our organization should work also in uh, encouraging a culture of innovation for environmental sustainability and a culture of collaboration between other companies in delivering more innovative product. A green supply chain management is uh, gaining a lot of attention. This is something which we pay a lot of attention recently here in, in countries in Europe, especially European Union. Uh, the part of this strategy that we are preparing is also the green supply chain manual on how to teach organization how to behave more uh, ethically, more more green, as, as we, we call it. And uh, we have a uh, European Union have prepared some manuals which help a lot of organization, but these are very strict and very hard. Uh, hard uh, procedures to follow. So that's why we pay a lot of attention. So our organization, our small businesses mainly, to be prepared. Because if you maybe are informed or not, uh, in Europe, uh, in from 2030, all companies need to have uh, sustainability reporting, uh, as we call them, meaning that they have to report about what they are doing toward the green supply chain or green uh, other green uh, initiatives. And no uh, company in Macedonia will be able to apply for any tender if they don't follow these procedures. So the elements of uh, uh, green supply chain, green product design, environmental compliance with uh, material sourcing and so on and so on. So the point here of European Union is to uh, uh, make companies so if you want to if you for example if you are non-european union member if you want to uh, collaborate with company in germany then you have to fall to have these standards otherwise the company in germany won't be able to collaborate with you this is how we try to expand this number of companies uh, uh, com to be in compliance with this new law and new regulation uh, green intellectual capital is also, uh, many research are showing that this is very, uh, as a base of increasing sustainability in every, every country. So based on this, we raised like two research questions here and five hypotheses which will be very shortly presented. Uh, uh, research question one is to what extent does green innovation lead to green intellectual capital and green supply chain practices? And the second question is how do green innovation, green intellectual capital and green supply chain practices contribute to business sustainability? Based on these questions, so uh, we raised five hypotheses, but before going to that, we use the approach uh, of natural resource-based view for maybe young students here. Uh, natural resource-based view is actually adding to the resource-based view. Uh, this is by Douglas Hart in 1995 for the first time. Uh, when the key principle is uh, that organizations should uh, achieve operation excellence without compromising uh, the environment sustainability. How this can be done is that including pollution prevention, waste minimization, and other, 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 many, many other forms that you can do that. But also researcher, this is like 2011, but you can find a lot of research which I've put in, uh, pointing to the positive impact or sometimes even competitive advantage, create a competitive advantage for organization, especially for leaders. So those who become first to introduce this concept usually gain more a positive effect. As the as the these positive effects, as these standards become normal for every other organization, then these benefits come to get lower. So the hypothesis that we developed in this uh, paper are green innovation influence has an influence on business sustainability and green intellectual uh, capital has an influence on business sustainability and green supply chain management practices have impact on business sustainability. So related to green innovation and uh, business sustainability, researchers are like divided somehow. So there are many research who are putting so positive impact and others who, who are not showing that positive impact. Sometimes even we see an increase of the of the cost of the company. But of course, green innovation is not here to be seen as a short-term investment and short-term, uh, let's say, profit 
uh, for organization. These are like uh, more moral uh, issues. Uh, and of course, we, we believe that also there will be, uh, because research are, uh, uh, results are proven that, that we believe that there will be some other, other financial cost cutting through, through this process. Uh, uh, in green intellectual capital, we mentioned we, we, we cover components that we cover here are green structural capital, green human resource capital, and green related re re relational capital. And green supply chain management, we believe that also, as I said, it is, uh, in my opinion, it, it, at this point, it, it, it is a huge deal and it can be a huge benefit for organization by waste elimination, energy efficiency, and of course, this can be increase of profitability. But also we wanted to test the two other hypotheses. We wanted to test the three elements all together. So uh, green innovation, and we wanted to see the, uh, the uh, uh, so we wanted to see how the, these elements are combined. So green innovation, intellectual co capital relationship. Uh, so we, we saw the green innovation foster the development of GIC. And uh, green innovation also the importance of green innovation role of green innovation on green uh, uh, supply chain management practices. So this is the model, the framework model that we created here. Uh, I don't know if you, I guess you can see it all, but uh, I want to let you know that I can share because I'm not going to present the data here. The paper is 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 uh, done with co-authors also. Uh, but uh, I am able to, I can send you the results and uh, the whole paper to everybody who wants to, to read it. So what was the result? The results show positive results, positive and significant relationship in all five hypotheses. Uh, for, for hypothesis one, we create the green innovation significantly enhance environmental, economic, social performance contributions to, to sustainability. Same thing, same thing happened to all other, other, uh, all the two hypotheses here. Regarding hypothesis four and five, which we believe are also very important. And uh, uh, the, so we also see positive and significant relationships. So green innovation plays a crucial role in developing GIC, which support business sustainability. And green innovations, hypothesis five, sorry, uh, green innovation significantly enforce the development of green su uh, sustainable uh, supply chain practices, adding business sustainability. You see that they are also supported by other literature, which you can see them in a full paper. Uh, what we suggest for future research directions regarding to the to this topic, which we analyzed and the topic which we analyzed, it's in a manufacturing sector. So uh, we will like to see more direct relationships. So as we see that we analyzed some indirect relationship, which means that a direct relationship with individual factor, each of these individual factor, there are not many papers in this field. Expand the geographical context. The, the research was done in Mal Mal Malaysian context. So we developed the questionnaire by our own, but this can this questionnaire can be developed uh, maybe spread to other countries and see the differences and see what uh, is here. Explore additional factor. Of, of course, you can include other factors that influence the business orientation, market orientation, and inter inter institutional pressure on sustainability. And this, I believe, we believe that it can has uh, maybe interesting for the readers to see how institution can influence, for example, sustainability. I just came from Italy, and what we saw there, it has, it has was been very. Uh, interesting that institutional pressure actually delivered a very, very much uh, results. Uh, I discussed with some European Union, Union representatives who are dealing with this problematic, and they said that uh, this is like a best strategy is a, a best strategy to enhance sustainability is by uh, indirect relationship, meaning that making them uh, like, uh, uh, for example, sustainability reporting can be one of the strategies that companies are, you don't force them, but actually you make everything that in order for them to progress to apply to this uh, sustainability standard. And also, of course, we use PLS SM, SM uh, methodology, but you can use uh, other maybe machine learning, 
AI algorithm for deeper insight and so on and so on. It's up to you, but I think that maybe the results will be different. So thank you very much for, for your, your time. And uh, I guess we have a bit of some minutes. I hope I didn't test uh, my time. Thank you very much.